As enablers of change, it's helpful to understand the different ways people have characterized change. Today, we're exploring one of the earliest models of change, the information integration theory. Information Integration Theory, or IIT, is a theoretical framework developed by Norman Anderson in the 1970s to explain how people combine multiple pieces of information to form a single judgment. The theory proposes that people integrate information in a weighted and additive manner, meaning that they assign weights to each piece of information and combine them to arrive at an overall decision. In our context, IIT can be used to understand how farmers process and integrate various pieces of information to make decisions about their farming practices. Extension projects are often designed to provide farmers with a range of information, usually related to the technology or practice that needs to change. We know, though, that it's not enough to simply provide farmers with this information. They must also be able to integrate it into their existing knowledge and decision-making processes. So, going back to IIT, there are several factors that influence how people integrate information, including the relevance of the information, the credibility and source of the information, and the consistency of the information with existing beliefs and knowledge. All these factors help integrate new information into decision-making processes. So let's work through these. Firstly, the relevance of the information. If we think about our work with farmers, they're more likely to integrate information that is directly relevant to their farming practices and fits with how they make decisions. So we need to tailor the information to their specific needs and their context. For example, a farmer who specialises in livestock farming may not be as interested in information about cropping practices. We should prioritise the delivery of information that is relevant and actionable. Secondly, the credibility of information is important. Farmers are much more likely to integrate information from credible sources such as trusted advisors, who could be anyone from researchers to private agribusiness consultants, as well as other farmers who've successfully implemented the practices. Therefore, we may even decide our extension work should prioritise building relationships with those trusted advisors to get the right information to farmers. As always, it's always good to use success stories of farmers who have already implemented the practices. The third and final factor is the consistency of new information with existing beliefs and knowledge. Farmers are more likely to integrate new information that aligns with their existing beliefs and knowledge. Therefore, we need to build on that existing knowledge and practices when introducing new information. This can be achieved by highlighting the similarities between existing practices and the new information, and by using familiar language and concepts. We should also be mindful of the potential for resistance to change and work to address any concerns or misperceptions that they may have. In conclusion, the information integration theory provides a useful framework for understanding how we process and integrate new information into our decision-making processes. By understanding the factors that influence information uh, integration, we can develop effective strategies for delivering information that's relevant, credible, and consistent with existing knowledge and beliefs. Ultimately, this can lead to better designed extension projects because the activities link and support the change that's actually required. Well, folks, you've heard our thoughts. Now we'd like to hear yours. Add a comment below the blog post and tell us about your experiences with the information integration theory, including any tips and further ideas about it. But we don't want this just to be a one-way conversation. Please join in by sharing your thoughts and ideas with us. Thanks, folks, for joining us on this Enablers of Change episode. Remember to subscribe to our newsletter if you'd like to know when new episodes are available. And if you liked what you've heard, please tell your friends so they too can join the conversation. All the best until we meet again. Mm -hmm.